Oh, this thing is a joy to fire. Oh, it's an absolute joy. You know what? Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. Grace to Blaze, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. So, supposedly, the new king of Brick Rigs has arrived. By Timo Strategy. It's called the Behemoth. This is very odd. It looks like a giant marble chunk. Supposedly, it weighs about 316,000 kilograms. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually expect it to move, but it does move. It moves surprisingly well. So it's a, uh, it's a giant block. It's a giant block of sadness and, and power, or supposedly it is. <laughs> Look at all the smoke that comes out of the back. I don't even want to know what kind of tire system is under here. Now, this thing is supposed to pack a lot of firepower, but I'll be the judge of that. Fire whatever it is we have. Okay. It's got a little bit of firepower. Woo! Man, I love the sound inside of this thing, too. Now, I'm very curious as well. There appears to be a thruster in here. Uh, where is it at? There it is. I guess it's like a little missile launcher that definitely looks like a missile or potentially a rocket since we can't control it. I've lined it up at this building and I really hope that it works appropriately. Fire the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Did that miss... <laughs> what was it? Was it waiting for the party to start or something like that? It was just hanging around forever. All of a sudden it fired out at like freaking the speed of light. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think it was gonna go. And then it did it. Things have changed in Brick Rigs again. Like, I don't remember there being a specific update, but I feel, well, first off, the, the entry screen is a little bit different. I don't know if the music was always uh, ear explosively loud because I always brought it down to like 50%. But something feels different here as well when I went to the single player. It was a dancing little single player logo. I don't know. I, when I see stuff like that, I often wonder what other secrets there are in these games. Okay, so the behemoth is big, bad, and looks kind of like a really expensive countertop for like an upscale bathroom. But the question is, can it be destroyed by a brand new A-10 Warthog by Ray Domix? Yes, yeah, supposedly this is a lovely, easy to use, very maneuverable A-10 Warthog over here. I'll be the judge of that. Because the question is, will the 4,000 pound bombs that this thing is toting be enough to destructicate the marble-like creation of the behemoth? I'm not gonna lie, it flies very interestingly. It flies more like a car than a plane. It's, uh, it's gliding capabilities are pretty strong as well. All right, so supposedly, oh, mother of God. Wow, this thing's like a kite. I'm just going around in circle over here. Now, supposedly, left click to drop the bombs. Let's give it a shot over here. Let's kind of glide on in, glide on in. Hold on now. Let's go ahead and pause over here. All right, the bomb dropping definitely works. I know this now because I ended up, like, not turning appropriately, and now I'm going to blow up in a spectacular fashion. Yep. There it goes. Man. The, I feel like the explosions have gotten a lot better too. Like the arcing of the flames looks really good. I'm really enjoying the, uh, the extra particle effects or whatever you want to call this. Smoke effects, fire effects, all the effects. Making all the flaming wreckage that falls down to the ground looking fantastic. Let's try this again. All right, we're coming in hot. Well, we're coming in slow actually, but whatever. Drop. Well, right about... Yeah, this should do it. Drop the bombs. Bombs away, boys. Bombs away. I think we got them all dropped except for... Oh, nope, that's all of them. That is all of them. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to hold down the button here so that our, our little A-10 continues onward. Oh, yeah. That's as close as you want to be right there. And the explosions occur. But how did the behemoth hold up? Look at the fire. Look at the, look at the destruction. That building completely annihilated. The A-10 crashing wildly into the building in the distance. And the behemoth is completely and utterly unscathed. Look at this. 
Look at it. I'm like, I'm like gliding in it like one mile an hour. This is fantastic. Fire the bombs. I want those bombs right on target. Oh, am I going to be right on? Am I going to be right on? Maybe if they hit like directly on top of the behemoth, they'll do something. Maybe the behemoth is just straight up invincible. And I'm wait. There we go. The behemoth didn't know what time it was. 4,000 pound A-10 bombs doing exactly what I hoped they would. Oh, now we get to see the underside of the behemoth. What the hell happened over here? The behemoth was like really angry about what just happened. It started like firing its rocket or something over into this building. I don't know what happened. And the behemoth is down. It took a lot. It took... <laughs> Whatever. It took a lot. But finally, the behemoth is laid to rest after... Those bombs weren't perfect, but they were pretty close. Waffle Razor is back with a waffle castle. Yes. A medieval waffle castle, complete with a moat and a bridge. But there's another reason that we have created this castle. Is that a cannon? There is another reason that we have created this castle. That's gonna come up in just a little bit here. Something very special that I hope works appropriately. Let's check this creation out over here. Inside of the, now this looks like a drawbridge. So, oh, yes. The drawbridge goes down. Now, what about this over here? What does this do? Okay. It works, whatever it is. I assume it's some sort of cannon. Inside we go. And we are treated to... What is this over here? Is this like... Um, it's like a little... Oh, these must be like stalls or something like that. You got your... Uh, you know, you got your medieval furnace over here for your... Ooh, what does this do? Oh, I think that's just the thing again. I was going to say, you got your medieval furnace over here for your blacksmiths. And you got your stalls over here for selling your goo. Or your goods, if you want to add a D to it. Over here, there's that cannon, if I can get that to fire. Probably can if you're in the first, or uh, the, uh, the controlled view. Now, supposedly, we got towers over here. This is interesting. Anything inside of the towers? No, just more tower, thank goodness. Now, there's a maze around here, it said. Where is the hidden glorious maze at? Maybe if we go down, oh god. Oh, there it is. There's the dungeon. I'll help you. It's not this way. Well, Waffle, I'm sorry, but I'm a cheating scumbag. So I'm going to go ahead and ghost my way. Told you, trust me now. See, even, even when I cheat, I still can't figure these puzzles out. One thing someone always said, just put your hand, like your left hand, against the left wall and just drag it on the wall. And eventually, you have to find your way out of any maze. Well, I guess unless the maze is all jacked up. What is this? Oh. Stand here before closing or opening the door. Where is, where is the, you'll never find my secret possessions. We'll see about that, Waffle. As long as I utilize the patented method, we can't go wrong. We can't go wrong. We're gonna have to figure it out eventually. Unless there's like hidden doors. Ah, a treasure trove of gold. Dag damn it, you found my golden waffles. Don't steal them. Don't you worry, Waffle Racer. I'm not gonna steal your waffles. I'm gonna blow your waffles up. But first off, oh, the cannon does work. Hold on. Wow, it's got some excellent recoil too. Hold on here. Oh, sweet. Cannon cam. Hey. Wow, this thing it's got a heck of an arc. Bye. Bye, random building. Sorry that you had to be the sacrificial lamb for brick rigs. Now, I told you that we did this for a reason, this medieval castle. And that's because Timber Strategy also has created a ballista. Yes. Now we're looking legit. Now, the question is, can you, can you turn it or it doesn't look like it turns? Um, oh, never mind. It totally turns. A and D keys. Oh, it must be in the, uh, ah, okay. For some reason, I wanted to use it in the alternate mode, but it's not the alternate mode. Now, it's a ballista, so it takes a little while for your peons to aim it up correctly, you understand. So it's going to be a little bit over here. There we go. Don't, don't send out the legions after me, Wobble. Just give me enough time to line this thing up. Go ahead and raise it up a little bit. Now, supposedly, there is some drop to this, like a real giant ballista arrow thingy bolt. I think it's a bolt. Isn't that what it is? Now, 
you can fire it and then detonate it. So let's try and do this. We're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I hope that all hell doesn't break loose when I do this. We're gonna fire it. Ooh. Fires, fires okay. Now how long do you have to hold it down for? Ah, the length of time that you hold the page down tells you how far it goes off. So that was very, very limp. That was a lackluster shot right there. Let's go ahead and restructurize. All right, bring it on up and fire the ballista. That's more like it. Okay, it did a little bit of damage. I mean, it kind of, well, really it didn't do anything. I think it took down like one tree or something like that. Did, did we even get the bridge down? The bridge is even down. Yes, we took down a tree. So this tree protected the castle. It must be like the king must have paid that tree off or some BS like that. Hold on, let's try this again over here. I have a feeling we're going to be able to get this. I'm going to Okay, we're going to go up a little bit higher this time. Maybe if we hit, like, the top of the castle, things will go well. Fire the ballista! There we go! That didn't really appear to do anything as well. Fire the ballista! All right. So there's the ballista. Looking good flying smoothly and now right when it touches we're gonna there we go there we go see it just took a little bit in fact i have i have an even better way we're gonna cause the physics to implode upon itself by slowing time down to like one one thousandth of normal that always Whoa, no. Oh, no. okay we're fine we're fine right now look at that i managed to land it and reconstruct the ballista without exploding myself now this one is, is, it, it looks like it's typed out balliste or something like that. Is there a special way to pronounce this? I could have sworn everyone when I was growing up always pronounced it ballista. I don't know if there's a difference between the two. What we're going to do is we're going to fire it. Now we're going to slow down and now we're going to create the paradox of sadness. Which is where we slow everything down. Far beyond what it was ever meant to do. Hold on, we'll, we'll move this thing up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right about, right about, oh, are we gonna get it inside the castle? What? Look at that. We're, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it, it shot the ballista back at us. Oh, okay, all right, I didn't mean to do that. I slowed down time to the 1 1,000th before I shot the ballista, and this is what happened. No, Waffle Castle! Waffle Castle's on its side. Waffle Castle tried to escape. It tried to reach escape velocity, but it couldn't. I did more damage with the... <laughs> I did more damage with the slow-mo than I did with the weapon over here. This is... <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, hold on. We gotta... Tr we, we gotta do some damage with this. Fire. Stop. Make it happen. Make it happen. Destroy the universe. Make the universe explode. I don't think that the ballista actually caused this to happen. I think it was just the physics. Now, what you don't know is that since everything is slowed down to that 1,000th or whatever have you, this thing's probably moving at like 800 miles an hour right now. So let's go ahead and unpause and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, it's gone. That time we did it, boys. That time we finally managed to get the castle to reach escape velocity. Will it ever come down? So, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I sat here waiting for a while. I can't even see it anymore. It, it, it's now a comet. Waffles Castle is now some comet. It'll only come around Bricksville once every, like, 200 years. So there you go. I immortalized your castle for you. Over here. An empty office building built by Red Fox, I think is the name. It, it almost, it, it looks like it would be pronounced like something we would say in New Jersey. It's going to be really funny if like through the entire episode, the castle finally falls. I didn't delete it. So it's still somewhere in the universe. I just don't know when it'll finally touch down. If it'll ever touch down, it may just be gaining momentum forever. So these types of buildings are fantastic because they're low brick count. I mean, compared to like the 10,000, 15,000 brick buildings. But that makes them perfect for blowing up. And we're going to blow it up. Oh, we're going to blow it up real smooth. How will we blow it up, you ask? Well, Bat Duck is back with the remote controlled mi nuclear missile truck. 
It is a super scaled down version of the nuclear missile truck. Actually, one of my favorite creations that we showed off in a previous episode. It's adorable. It's like, you can't even get inside of it. You have to drive it from our little seat over here. So we have to drive it from outside of the vehicle, but it does drive. Uh, you can make it go and do all kinds of stuff. Now, can we, how does it work? Can we, whoa! Okay, all right, no, no, stop bouncing. Stop dancing, nuclear round. Don't you explodicate yet. All right, so how do you get the turret to go up and down? It actually doesn't look like there's an actuator for it. Probably because the actuator may be too big. Um, there is, oh, oh, never mind. I was wrong. There it is. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, it's gonna work out perfectly. Okay, we've got the missile lined up. You know what, hold on, hold on. We'll make it go up a little bit larger. This is hilarious. Look at this thing. I can't believe it. I can't believe how well it came out. All right. So now we're going to have to fire the thruster and then watch the fireworks. Oh, crap. I just thought about it. I have the super slow-mo at like 1 billion speed. I need to change it. But if I change it, won't everything warp out of this dimension? Let's find out. Okay. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Everything is not fine. Oh, the round's in the air. The round is in the air. I can fix this. I can fix this. I sort of fixed it. Nope, I didn't fix it at all. Okay, stop. Stop. Everyone stop. What is on fire? What is burning? Something's burning. Did we hit this somehow? How did we hit this? Ah! Ah, it's on fire. I don't know why. I guess, I guess the round must have fired even though I didn't really attempt to do so. Whatever. It's, everything, everything's fine. All right. Before this thing falls apart without our help, because it's still on fire. Oh, the fire's finally going out. Fire the thruster! And the thruster is off. Right at the base of the building. Didn't do a thing. Took a couple of bricks out and that's it. Wait, I was wrong. I was wrong. The supports are giving away. The supports are giving away. The building's coming down. Oh, this is awesome. I never, I've never seen a building finally do this. Like collapse in on itself. Look at all the bricks. Look at all the bricks fold. And down comes the building, yes! <laughs> oh, the little remote controlled missile truck did it! With one well-placed, really tiny nuclear round. Oh, the frame rate though, as the building burns. I think it's because of the flames. I think the flames are causing a lot of the frame lag right now. All right, I had to come out into the grid map to show you guys this. Actually, there's two things I have to show you out here. The first one is by Michael, I think it's Fleischer or Fleischer85. He has created, supposedly, the largest boat that has ever been made in brick rigs. It is 8,500 bricks. Now, I don't know if this is true because I remember that we had a aircraft carrier that was made, but I will say the attention to detail on this boat is just fantastic. Look at this. We got rescue ra we got rescue boats over here. Canisters over here. Now there's an entire interior as well, mind you. Oh, you can turn on the pumps. You can turn on the pumps. Hold on. I think there's more pumps here too. Yes, activate the pumps. Fire water into the air for no reason at all. Actually, it's probably all the pumps are going to do is probably take up precious frames. Let's go ahead and turn those off for right now. Let's go check out the interior of this thing with, okay, there's all the pumps. There's all your different chunks and such. There is an object. Oh, there's like a piece of brick rigs paraphernalia in here, as well as some other objects. Brick rigs fire award for 100 rescued lives. Oh, from the brick rigs fire department for the NSC coast guard team. Lovely. We've got a janitor area over here. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. We've got a janitor area over here. Uh, apparently it's a very small janitor area, but it does count. Is that a vehicle? Oh, there's a vehicle in here. You can't drive it, obviously, but it looks good. There we go. Now I'm able to actuate it. Open up these flaps over here so that we can see out into the distance. There we go. Now it's looking sweet. Over here in the air command's office. Yeah, we got all kinds of dials. You got your seat in there, have you, as well? Hold on, let's continue walking around here. This is where you can, uh, kind of sit around and, uh, you know, I don't know, have a... Have something to eat, have a drink, maybe a little vegan cola or whatever they have over here in Brick Rigs. Got the best captain award, which I guess I'll call that gold. It looks a little bit more like the bronze award. It's like the third place captain. There he is, Michael 
Fletcher, Fletcher, 85, sitting behind his desk, counting his stacks after selling the most impressive boat ever made to the Coast Guard over here for his engineering abilities. Oh, it's a prison! Inside the prison. Wow, the prison is actually quite nice. Look at this. You got a lot of space. There's more space in this prison than most people have in their houses in Brick Riggs. Downstairs we go. Oh, sponsored by the city of Brick Riggs Police. Everyone's getting in on this. There needs to be decals outside. This thing needs to be like the NASCAR of the boating world. There's a meeting room. There's a bathroom for the men. All right, little shower area. You got your uh, you got your porcelain deity over there. There's a kitchen. Oh man, look at this. There's a kitchen with a refrigerator that looks like I don't know if that's a Keurig or a coffee grinder or, or a coffee maker or something like that. We got some burners over here. We have an armory right next to the dormitory. The dormitory, uh, you know, it sleeps three people. Oh, actually, is it six? It is six. Doubling up. And over here in the armory, what could be inside of the... What's inside the armory? Hold on here. Can I get up in the armory? Doesn't look like I can. This is what's inside the armory. It's kind of, uh... It's got the staircase behind it over there. Let's check out the meeting room, though. This is where everyone gets their pep talks from the Lord of the boating world. We got a cheese wheel on here or something like that. I think it... I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, we have... I don't know what this is, either. Some sort of... Maybe this is like your, uh, your... Your teas and your waters if you want something to drink. And then like a projector or something over here in your projection screen. Let's continue onward. There's the women's bathroom. I was going to say, there has to be a bathroom in here for the gals. How, how's this look? You know, I feel like the men have a nicer bathroom. Maybe it's just me. But I definitely feel like the men got away with a nicer bathroom. And over here... The engine that powers the whole thing. Look at the size of this beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, the boat is legit. Let us try to, uh... Oh, this is this is foolish. Let us try to pilot it. Well, pilot it. Let us try to make it move. There's about six billion tires on it. So that it can, uh, you know, air quotes, sail. I would never detonate this thing. We will get no frame rate. No frame rate at all. But it does sail. It does move. Should you want to. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can release the, uh... Let me see if I can release the lifeboat. Ready? There it is! Lifeboat away! Ha ha ha! It worked. Oh, that's great. Over here! I can't get too close to it or I'll blow all of our eardrums out. My scrumptious. This thing, this thing is insane. It is the scrumptious, like, marble machine. Uh-oh. A marble just went flying. It is the scrumptious marble machine. Scrumptious is well known for making some of the craziest stuff I have seen on Brick Rigs. And this is no, this is no joke. It is a giant contraption. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna have to change the, the sound after I record this. Look at this. The marbles go along their path. Look at how cool this is. They get pushed over here. Then the marbles get tilted forward. Then they get put in the pocket. Then the little gripper comes out. Oh, this is amazing. Then the gripper goes up. The gripper takes the marble. Hold on now. Then it puts it into the marble chute. And the marble falls down over here. And then the marble's gonna come to rest just in time to be hefted back up by the secondary marble grabber. This is... I gotta tell you something, Scrumptious. <laughs> You're like a mad scientist. Like, this is probably the most ridiculous thing. This is the mo one of the most creative, for sure. But one of the most creative and ridiculous things I've seen yet. Then it comes over here. Puts it on this little pathway. Marble flops down over here to be picked up by, yep, another little marble scoop. And then we're back where it all starts. Eventually, the marble slaps down here onto the top. It falls down into the, I don't know what they are. It's like a little, like a little clockwork of all these beams that push the marble forward a little more and a little more and a little more. Hold on. Let's watch it. 
Goes down here. There we go. And then... There it is! And it's kicked... Oh! Whoa! The marble almost went flying. Hold on. Come on, work. Work, marble. Get it, get it. There it goes, there it goes. It's working now. It's working now. Will it get all the way up? Will it get all the way up? Up, uh, up. Uh. Oh, I think it's going to get it. And there you have it. The marble is set back into the machine, and thus the infinity continues. All right. I'm going to hate myself for trying to make this happen, but we've got to do it. This is by Martellus. This is the Stormbreaker. Apparently, it's a replica of a weapon from Lost Planet 2. Uh, it's pretty insane. It's pretty, it, it's amazing. It's, look at this thing. Look at how ridiculous this is. I'm gonna try and blow up. I'm gonna try and blow up the marble machine with this. Hold on, let's get right online. Now, is there, oh yeah, I knew it. There's a scope, it's perfect. All right, here we go, boys, ready? Fire the cannon! First shot incoming. That's a direct hit. Did it do anything? Fire the cannon? Fire the cannon. Fire the cannon. Okay. Uh, the creation over here is surprisingly stronger. Never mind. The cannon's doing good now. It just took a little bit. Oh, this thing is a joy to fire. Oh, it's an absolute joy. You know what? Oh, wow. Look at the damage. Look at the damage it does. You know what we need to do? We need to put this against a building. All right. We got the empty office building prepared. It should do pretty well. Oh. Oh, I can't wait. How far do I have to move this thing? I didn't really check to see what my angle was before I started moving the bore over here. Actually, where in the... <laughs> Hold on. Where in the world? Oh, finally. It's like the second I go to get out of the camera, I, I should have realized I was finally there. There it is. The building. You know what to do, boys. Take it down. Fire the cannon. A direct hit. Right to the middle portion of the building itself. But I'm still holding up pretty good. Oh, the frame rate. Frame rate definitely hates our lives. Oh, it hates our lives pretty bad. Another shot into the supports. Come on, fall for gray. Fall for great. You know what? Hold on. Let's go lower. Let's go lower. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yep. There it is. What happened? It like hopped off the ground. That was interesting. Oh, whatever. And the Stormbreaker claims another life. This thing, I got to tell you, the look on this thing is just majestic. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs where we got to take a look at some really creative new stuff on the workshop. Oh, I love this game for that very reason. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.